Rico London is fast approaching. Let's see some of that gun blazing gameplay. Need I remind you, DI Redfern, that tonight is the biggest single policing operation in Metropolitan Police history. Gov, I'm a highly trained anti-terrorism officer, and you want me on crowd control? You and 12,000 others. We need all hands on deck for this one. We're even bussing in uniforms from the provinces. You don't get to talk your way out of this. <sighs> so, with respect, I don't think the terrorist fraternity are going to take a night off just because we're ushering in a new millennium. We were thrilled by the reaction to Rico London when we announced it earlier this year. Today we're going to walk you through how the gang-busting, name-taking, explosive co-op shooter works. The game takes place on the New Year's Eve of 1999 and you find yourself in the shoes of Detective Inspector Redfern. Without the permission of her superior, Redfern busts up a weapons trade deal at the foot of a high-rise London tower block. Your aim is to work your way through the tower, taking down enemies, crashing through doors, dodging bullets, sliding across floors, swapping out weapons, throwing knives, hitting melees and of course, shooting bullets. Rico London is the definition of fast-paced first-person shooting but it also allows customizability in the way that you play. After completing levels, you'll be awarded medals. These medals can be used as currency between stages in the upgrades menu. This allows the purchase of new supplies such as medkits, weapons like the Lockstock shotgun, and permanent upgrades that reduce weapon recoil or restore health. Focus your medals on the abilities that suit your playstyle as you work your way through the tower block. We've mentioned co-op briefly, we're also excited to announce that you'll be able to play on Nintendo Switch in handheld mode with local split screen, meaning you can truly take the co-op experience anywhere with just one game required. That's enough talk, let's showcase a bit of raw gameplay from Rico London itself. So to start with, we've got two different difficulties. We've got easy mode, which has no permadeath, and normal, which has permadeath and friendly fire. As you start playing through Rico, you'll realize just how arcadey the action is. This is a comic book world. It is not a real one. So that is absolutely emphasized by these incredible physics. People will go flying all over the shop as you connect with bullets and it really makes the game stand out. You'll need to pick up med kits to replenish your health. There's no auto health regen. This is old school as it comes. You'll have to breach the doors to get into each room. Quite often this will reveal a new set of foes to fight. <laughs> You'll see the physics there. Boom, again there with the, the melee attack straight into that wall. You're rewarded with slow motion and physics as you connect with bullets. Of course, each of these levels are procedurally generated. The layouts of the levels, including locations of items, enemies, and the actual end of the level itself will be different each time you play. You'll see here I come up against a grenade, and uh, it is uh, my downfall. Blast your way up the high-rise tower stacked with East End gangsters, solo or with a partner, in Rico London, due for physical release this September on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. Also available digitally on Steam, Xbox and the previously mentioned platforms. 